Hi everybody, thanks for coming by. I'm Ryan and this is a Ryan's Talk segment going over the show FBI featuring Missy Peregrim. This is probably one or her first or second um, breakout roles. For me, the other one was Rookie Blue when she basically played the main rookie new to the force. Um, but um, I guess to date, or as of now, this is her biggest role where she is the lead and she is a female. That's another part of the show. And the fact that she's also betraying a real um, FBI agent. And before making this um, review, I found two or three articles that she has trained and studied uh, the field as well as the agents with an ex-federal agent and quote-unquote is proud to be doing this show, proud to be an FBI, proud to be representing a very powerful um, profession. So um, I am very happy to watch that because I know that the actress loves doing it because it, uh, it means so much more and, and and it means so much um different emotions can come up because of that so thank you missy Pagram, for acting and getting yourself so so involved uh but we're gonna move on we have a couple main characters in the show we have our two federal agents um sorry not detective federal agent Maggie Bell, played by Miss Pegram, and of course her partner, Odom Zidane. And then we have two more kind of inbound in the office um, characters, analyst Kristen Jazal. And if we've ever watched The Burgatory, the main lead's father, he plays in here. He's the assistant special agent in charge, Jubal um, Valentine. And then we have one more character who is pretty much, I think, a, in my opinion, a main character, the boss or major profiler. Her name is Diana Mojour, if I'm saying that correctly. So those are our characters. And now to my thoughts and review on this sucker. Um, both of these cops are very, 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 very smart. Sorry, agents are very smart. Um, they use tactics. They go in between the lines. They go above the line. Um, below line everywhere they go there's like a little um, crack they go I've watched the show they take up all the evidence and use it they also go to unbelievable lengths and figure find other ways to get evidence through people through audio through video and um, just maybe lip reading I, I don't know they, I haven't written down all of the ways but they just go through the system and they're able to take down the criminal just like that. Of course it's TV and it takes a lot more than just 42 minutes um, but they are so so good at what they do and how they do it. Um, bringing back to my next fun thing about the show is it looks like they have so many years of experience by how they take charge and the actions that they um, pursue. And I know it's a new show, and of course, it's not saying that they are day one on the job and they're this good. It just gives us an extra boost to watch the show and how they're going to engage in finding the criminal, finding the next evidence, finding the purpose and motive of the crime. So, um, plus I can always learn something with their years of experience, like who cannot really? Um... And with that, talking about them, um, there is definitely work and personal relationships growing slowly and deeply. Uh, talk about the personal first. Actually, well, let's go um, work first because that's obviously um, more there. They, um, the two agents definitely have their backs for each other. They take on their strong talents and strong skills. And if they're weak anyway, they are going to go ahead and not even scrutinize that person. They're just going to go help and make that person stronger by using the stronger person. And I appreciate that because that shows unity, shows strength, shows teamwork. And it's a very powerful thing to me in my personal opinion. And I admire people 
who go after um, people who are weak and want to make them stronger. And they don't like keep them remaining down. They want to build them up. And it's really just touching and emotional. Um, so that brings me to the personal level where um, each character is kind of cracking down who they are. We've already learned that Maggie was married and sadly there was a tragic accident with her husband and we're seeing how the death of her husband kind of is affecting her job as well as making her stronger. I have had a sense that it's um, her job is a distraction, um, which I'm not sure if it's good or bad yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. But um, her husband plays a part in this, the emotion of losing her and so, sorry, losing him so early on. I think it's only been about a year or so, like something so, so soon. Um, the other man, he is, I believe, mis Muslim, and he has his work cut out for him as being just his ethnicity and we've had a few episodes where it's racial or discriminatory and he is strong and if not he has the support of Maggie. Uh, I do not know anything about his personal life yet so I'm curious to see uh, where they're going to go with that. I don't think he's married at all either. Um, they have never mentioned anything about children or family. Just simple work simple, as an FBI agent. Um, so I want to see where all those go because that builds the characters, that builds the show up for more, and that kind of brings me to their friendship where it's very powerful. And with all the um, characters in here, it kind of just grows a little bit where you can see that they're okay teasing each other, okay being funny, okay trusting one another. There was just an episode a few weeks ago where um, Maggie Bell is on the rooftop and Dana says, use your gut, you take the call, with a shooter who is just taking civilians out. And her gut was saying, take the guy out because they are trying to negotiate by speaking of the wife he lost, but it didn't go that well. So they took the necessary action to make everyone safe and they had to kill him. So um, work relationship and personal relationship, I'm definitely excited to see. And then lastly, um, I definitely can, I'm kind of comparing this to Colonel Minds because both this show and that show have profiling going on. I think that's a super important part. Um, Criminal Minds uses the profiling to understand the on sub and the suspects and the crime and I think that the profiles in the FBI use it just to understand the person and then figure out what the next um, crime is going to be. So they're both different and both important at the same time. Also Crimons is a little bit darker. I feel like in FBI we hone more on the characters, their lives, and um, the atmosphere of being an FBI agent where you don't know what your case is going to be. You have to rely on your coworkers, have to protect so many people at one time. You have to be on the dot about everything because something could change in a matter of seconds. And if you flinch, you might pull the trigger. If you flinch, you might go down and can protect your partner then. So I'm always also excited about how they profile a person because they go through all the nicks and crannies and cracks. They take out, um, check out all the evidence, of course, the audio, the videos, the witnesses, and they go a little extra further to go check out the history, check out um, maybe a friend 20 years ago from college or the neighbor. And they really find every possible way just by studying. So... That is something we all can learn about, learn to do, learn that it's an important skill and be grateful that these people who are good at what they do are pursuing it and using it to their best of their abilities. So that is my review, my reaction. I love the show. Hope you do. If not, I hope you will watch it and see 
that there's more to it than just what meets the eye or you maybe see a little bit of what I see. Um, anyhow, you can tell me if you like it or don't like it in the comments below. You can also send the head thumbs up or you can subscribe or share, whatever you want to do. Do it as long as it's legal, as I say. I'm fine with it. Um, thanks for stopping by. Again, watch the show FBI featuring, featuring our um, lead, Missy Peregrim. And enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.